Scouts, Tanya TKO here. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, we have some news. Mm, mm, mm. You know, when I first heard this news, I was I was thrown aback, taken for a loop. I was, I don't know, I don't know, but we're gonna get into all of it. Apparently, Kevin Samuels, Godfather Kitten Heels has died atop a plus size prostitute. That is all men know. That is, well, you know what? We know a few more things other than that. Like we got some pictures, but you know, let's start out by getting this notification to the text notification squad because everybody needs to come in because your girl is on vacation. You know, I am deep in the bellows of 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 relaxating and i got this message and i couldn't i couldn't believe it this is why i'm going live late because i still can't believe it but the, the people listen the sun has reported we're going to read a lot of different articles today but let me get this link from the back end of my account so that we could jump into all the things that I have to show you, including a video. The sun is going down where I'm at. So we're going to turn on some lights in a little while. But I figured in the in the in the effort of mourning that we would start this video in the shrouds as kitten heels liked to stay. In the shrouds. Okay, I see people are coming in. Come on in. You all have been waiting all day for me to do this. So I done put away my surfboard to come out and make this video for you all. Listen, it's a it's a boondoggle. It really is. It's a boondoggle. So let's let's let me let me just I need to get my link to send out to the text notification squad because this is Oh my goodness, people are saying the gal was, hold on, people are saying it was a setup. You know what, all I know is that it's hypocrisy in motion because he sat up there. You know what, before we get into the video, I need to get this link, but the link has not come live yet on YouTube. Um, God, Lee, I really need this. Come on, give me one second, you all, because you know the text notification squad has to get their, has to get their link first and foremost. Um, give me one second. I need to welcome in. Yes, people are saying that she is a nurse. News reports are saying she is a nurse. That's how she knew to get the defibrillator. Apparently, 57-year-old kitten, kitten heels was having chest pains, collapsed the top the girl. The girl didn't know what to do. She ran to the front desk, got the defibrillator, called 911. When they came, she said she had met him the night before. You know what? <clears throat> my link is not coming up from here. Let me just log into YouTube real quick so I could get this link because it's not coming up on the phone. As you see, these are old videos that are coming up on the phone. So I need to get my link real quick. So you know what you need to do? Go grab yourself a snack. Go get a drink, a bottle of wine, some rum, a grilled cheese sandwich, whatever it is that you need to do real quick because we're going to be talking about this for about half an hour. And I want us, I want us to get into the full nitty-gritty of it. We have the Atlanta PD police report. So we're going to be reading the police report. Somebody is saying this is funny. I do not think that this is funny at all. And I will never sit up here and laugh at someone's death. I can't do that. You can go ahead and do that if you choose to, but I'm not gonna let that type of karma come to me because you see. People like to talk about how folks going to die alone. And then the next thing you know, they don't die around family. They don't have no wife. The children don't speak to them. And the one person who was there with them is some big batigyal, a prostitute that he met on OnlyFans. Meanwhile, he's telling all of these men to look for girls who are size four, girls who are size two, who weigh 125 pounds. Meanwhile, big mama Mirtha, whatever her name is, Big Mama had cake for days. Maybe he was diabetic and and the cake was too much. I don't know. I mean, I know. But all I know is that when I saw them butt cheeks, I said, I pray to God that Kitten Heels did not try to go underneath that because no one would be able to breathe. This is what I'm saying. She's a plus size prostitute. And he, while he's telling you one thing, remember, 
Because he was over there telling you women over 35 are throwaways, et cetera, et cetera. Women over 35 are throwaways. Meanwhile, he has video footage from back in the, from before he, he got famous talking about how he loves him a good 40-year-old woman right? Oh, if you don't believe me, look it up. Look up Kevin Samuels, 40-year-old, right? Then on top of that, he's telling you, oh, men don't want women who are above a size two or size four, but if you see the cakes underneath this, underneath which this man has died, you would know that everything that he was saying was some BS. He was talking bullshit so that he could have all the cake for himself. This is what was going on. Listen, I've got to get my link. Give me one second. We still haven't got the link out to the text notification squad because we're over here talking shit but listen we're gonna get into the whole story let me just refresh okay there we go here's the link right here copy url let me put this into the text notification squad here we go come over space space let me get this link in okay here 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 where's the link here's link url paste add and then send send now all right text notification is getting their link right now here send perfect all right <clears throat> uh oh let's see okay let's get let's get into the full story let's get into the full meat and potatoes of it right all right text notifications uh, the link is going out to you all so let's go ahead and jump in because a lot of people i've never gotten so many emails as the ones that i've gotten to talk about this situation right here so let me tell you all what is going on okay let me tell you all what is happening right here i just want you to see big mama mercer right here this the gal that saw the punch of belly i mean listen 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 remember he was talking about size twos look this is the girl right there. This is what I'm saying. But you can't see the cakes. You can see them on. You could they spread, but you can't really see the full cakes. I just want you to see all this cake right here. Zoom in the screen. Let's see. Zoom in if you need to. Put it on your TV because there's ass for days, ass for months, all over the place, right? This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Not only was there ass for days, but there was stomach for weeks. Look, she has a fupa, right? She has the fupa. And I'm not fat shaming because you all know me. I got my fupa too. I got my fupa, right? But, but I'm not the one over there telling you all to go for skinny minis while I'm getting drowned, while I'm at the bakery, throwing my face on the cakes. Listen, come on in, everybody. Let's get this party started. Let's 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 go into the nitty gritty. Let's get into the nitty gritty of this all, right? Here is an article that came out in the Sun. We shall read the whole thing. Kevin Samuel's death. Mother confirms controversial YouTuber has died, but cause of death is not revealed. Oh, this must have been an earlier report because we got. We got the news report from, the, I mean, we got the thank you to all of the knockouts who sent this to me, who sent me supporting information. Thank you to the people who were in the group who dropped private uh, links and, and firsthand information to me. Thank you to you all. I wish I had my clap track, but I don't. So just have to, to get a big clap here for everyone. All right. We got the APD report here. Text notification just went out. So come on in, everybody. There's 1,500 people on this live right now, and we are going for broke. I need you to zoom this in so that we can read this together. As you see, we have a one Alcantara Orienta, born 1990. She's um, She says she calls herself Afghan cutie or something like that. They have her listed as native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander, right? Then we have one Seth Samuels Kevin, born 1965, Black or African descent. And then it says on May 5th, 2022, Officer Jay Figueroa of Unit blah, 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 responded to a call at blah, 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 Paces Ferry 
a uh, number apartment, blah, 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 right? Regarding a person injured. Upon arrival, Officer Figueroa observed the fire department engine number 21 performing CPR to a black male unresponsive on the floor of his apartment. Now let's pause that right there because was this his apartment? From what it is that we hear, this was an extended stay Airbnb. There had been rumors for quite some time that Kevin Samuels did not have a permanent place to stay. This is why he wanted his young squires to come. Remember he was talking about young squires? You remember? Oh, don't act like you don't know. He had his, let's see. Remember he was talking about the young bucks, the young bucks coming to stay in an Airbnb while he mentored them and showed them the way. And remember, we saw this big buck, some big booty buck in his bed. I mean, we know the method. Look, the man like cakes. He like cakes, right? So we saw this big booty buck in his bed, right? And remember, he was talking about how we gotta, we have to give the allowance for men who want to be with other men. Who knows? Apparently, dude may have been a switch hitter. I am surprised. And not only that, he didn't even go for the bony broads that he was telling all of you to go for, to leave more of the cakes on the market for him. But he went for some big bucks and big booty broad that <sighs> was making her way, making her way in the world today. Takes everything you got. Hey, making the way in the world today, even if you're a thought. Okay, okay. No, we're not going to do it like that. We're not going to be like that. We're going to behave. We're going to behave, all right? Let's go back to the police report. Go ahead and thumbs up the video, like the video, share the video. If you have not heard this, oh, look, I got video too. A, a, a person who says that they are a friend of the family says that they got confirmation that the death is real. And there's a woman on there that is so sad. Mm, mm, mm. Let's continue forward. There's 2,000 people on this live. Go ahead, thumbs up, share the video, like the video, put your comment below. It matters for the algorithm. Let's continue. Should we go back into the into the lurches like like um like kitten? Should we go back into the darkness or should we leave the lights on? Mm. Who knows? Let's continue. Let's continue. <clears throat> okay. unresponsive on the floor of his apartment. I then met Miss Hortensia Alcantara, who identified the male as Mr. Kevin Samuels. Miss Alcantara stated that she met Mr. Samuels last night, came to his apartment and spent the night with him. Miss Alcantara also said that early morning, Mr. Samuels complained of chest pains and she attempted to help him, but he fell atop of her. And, proceed, and, and proceeded to notify 911. Am I lying? Did he not die atop a plus size prostitute? She met him the night before and was spending the night with him. Apparently she's an OnlyFans girl. As much crap as he was talking about women from OnlyFans. This is what I'm saying. This is walking hypocrisy. This is walking hypocrisy. I want to see some of your comments. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Let me see. How do I get the comments on the screen? I'm using a new software because I'm not in my studio. So let's see if I can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I get source, share screen, invite guests, add source, private chat, Let's see. I don't know how to get the, the, the comments on the screen. I know how to do it from my phone, but I don't know how to do it from here. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. Nope. 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 None of these are doing it. Uh, let's see. Captions. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Chat, it's not doing it. So I, I'm not going to be able to get your comments. Oh, wait, here it is. Chat overlay. There we go. All right, so the new comments should be able to come up once you all start sending new comments through. So she was not black. 
let's not let's not get it twisted she was not black so let's 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 stop that right there let's stop that right there so she was <laughs> so much only OnlyFans nurse listen let's continue let's con let's continue forward let's continue forward uh let's see <coughs> okay okay some people are saying she was not from OnlyFans please please listen I listen, I, I think that I think that this whole situation is sad personally. You know, he spent a lot of time talking about women who were gonna die alone. But when it was time for him to meet his maker, he was not surrounded by family. There was no one who loved him that was near him. There's a a, a woman who he collapsed upon who's gonna be back out on her grind later this evening. You know what I'm saying? Some people are saying he, that they can't believe the world. All he wanted was to help men. Um, listen, listen, and all Ike Turner wanted to do was make music, but in the meanwhile, he spent a lot of time beating up Tina Turner. And you know what? Let me just state this for the record. I understand that in some facets, it seems as if these men are attempting to do good. It seems as if they're trying to help people create relationships. On the surface, you listen to one or two videos, but by the time you start getting into more videos, there's a schadenfreude that's, that sets in, where even people of other races, the vast majority of Kevin Samuel's followers were people of other races who enjoyed watching Black women get drug over the coals, who enjoyed them watching, watching them get verbally abused, who enjoyed watching them get demeaned because for them it was entertainment. I remember, I remember Denzel Washington was in this, in this, in this interview once. And in the interview, he talked about how in his early days, he was positioned for a movie. And the people in the movie were talking about a black man who was just very hard to kill. They hung him, um, they shot at him, but the bullets didn't work. They hung him, but the rope um, uh, broke and he kept running and they kept trying to kill him. And the people who, 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 who were pitching the movie to him was like, ha ha ha, isn't this funny? And he was like, no, there's nothing funny about you continuing to attempt to kill a black man. But to them, they thought it was funny. And there's some people out there who despise women, despise black women so much, despise black people that they enjoy watching the slam down battle royale. And they loved watching him disrespect black women, calling them all types of bitches and broads, talk about women's pussies like used cars, telling you you need to fuck on the first date, telling you that you're no good if you have a child, saying that nobody's going to want you, saying that you're going to die alone. Meanwhile, he was the embodiment of the opposite of which it is that he preached. Because when it came time to pass away to meet his maker, right? When it came time to meet his maker, he's twice divorced, children don't speak to him. And he was living a life which was a lie. He was living a life which was a lie. So yeah, on the one hand, it may look as if he meant well, but how did that quote unquote meaning well turn out? Instead of talking about how, I mean, look, people like what they like. Some people like cakes. Ain't nothing wrong with liking cakes. But when you stand in front of, of, of the media and you talk about how cakes are bad, look, 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 look. Some people, them does like, them like cake. Look at that. They like cake is, look, cake is delicious. Cake is soft and squishy. Some people like cakes. But while he's over there trying to convince you that you're, something's wrong with your cakes, go flatten out your cakes into pancakes, that the men ain't going to want you to stand the other. Meanwhile, he was paying big bucks. He was paying big bucks to be smothered, to be smothered by Christmas cakes to the point that his heart gave out. Well, we don't know. Look. We don't know what else he was doing. All we know is that this was a man in his 50s. Yet another one. Yet another of the Grim Reaper. Listen, I'm telling you all better get right. You better go on and get right out there. 
Somebody talking about I would love some cakes. I'm hungry. Nonetheless, let's get back to the police report. Let's get back to the police report so that we can um <clears throat> so that we can see what was going on with the rest of the police report. Come, let's 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 finish reading that. Let's finish reading that, right? Let's finish reading. Uh oh, it looks like we can't show the, the chat and the police report at the same time. So let's take the chat off the screen and then we'll come back into the police report. Give me one second, y'all, because we need to get down to the bottom of all of this. Speaking of bottom, this is what I'm saying. Some men does like them bottom big. And apparently he liked big bottom. You saw the size of that big bottom block, the bussy boy that was inside his bed when he was like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. go look for Kevin Samuel's name in my videos. And you will see the big bottom block that was caught in his bed. I can't take the, the chat thing off the screen now. 2,400 people inside the room. Go ahead and thumbs up the video. Like, subscribe. Well, you don't have to subscribe. Uh, subscribers don't mean nothing on these platforms, but you can if you want to, so you can find me again if you've enjoyed this. Oh, the thing has come up. All right, so let's go. Miss Alcantara, who said she requested the 911 operator to contact the front desk for a defibrillator to keep Mr. Samuels responsive until Grady arrives because she is a nurse. Night nurse. Only you alone can cure this here thirst. My night nurse. Only you alone can cure this here thirst. Yeah, listen, you know how it is. <laughs> listen, if you know that song, throw up a number one. Night nurse. <clears throat> Only you alone can cure this here thirst. Hey, there's a, wait, something, 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 so you can see there's a man by the name of Gregory. I mean, I know the lyrics, but let's go to go forward. The night nurse was there. Let's, con let's continue reading about the night nurse. Let's continue. <clears throat> things moving slow so night nurse only you alone can cure this here thirst my night nurse the, the thing ain't coming back up nonetheless nonetheless so let's we're gonna get right into the rest of this article because i want to read the rest of it for you so that you can hear everything that was said about homeboy right oh come on the police report is taking forever to come back up so let's see if we can get this my night nurse only you alone can cure this here thirst all right here we go last sentence right um grady bus number blah 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 number 7481 mr samuel was, was later transported to piedmont hospital by Grady Bus 741. What a terrible, terrible, terrible way to die. Nonetheless, let's go into the article so that we can finish reading everything that there is to know about this situation. I can't get the rest of it on the screen because um, I'm not on my regular program, so I can't show everything. So let's just read. Let me come into the corner so you can see. Night nurse. Only you alone can cure this here thirst. Hey. All right, so continue forward. It says, a controversial YouTuber, star, and online relationship guru has passed away. Right? <clears throat> Age 56, but the man was born in 65, and this is 2022, and he was his birthday was in March, so he was 57. His mother, Beverly Samuels Birch, confirmed his death to NBC News, but declined to release details about what happened. Let's give a video right here. Let's show this video. Is there any way possible that this is not true? No, this I, is have, 100%. I have family confirmation. Okay. I got family confirmation. Well, this is 100%. Um, we, the funeral most likely believe it's going to be in Oklahoma City. I got family confirmation. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I'm sorry. Too much dust. I'm sorry. I don't know if you saw that girl's face, but the girl's face was all looking like she was all sad and about to cry. I don't know what was going on, but let's continue forward. She says she learned of her son's death from social media. Earlier, a close friend of self-proclaimed guru, 
Self-proclaimed guru Samuels, Melanie King, revealed she received family confirmation that Modern Women creator had passed away. A Georgia officer who goes by Jay Figueroa has opened up about how he responded to a call at the apartment in which Kevin Samuels was living in. See? Living in. Extended Airbnb. It was not his apartment. He was living there. Listen, I heard that there were some terrible things going on with his credit. He was borrowing money to fix his cell phone before he went viral on YouTube. This is what I'm saying. He was in a bad way. Remember, he worked at Office Depot. He couldn't afford to pay his child support. He was back child support for 10 years. Remember all of this. Remember all of this. So let's continue going forward, right? The officer said it was a call. Mm. Listen, the officer said it was a call regarding an injured person. He said upon arrival, Officer Jay Figueroa observed the fire department engine number 21 performing CPR. We read this already. Unverified reports shared on social media claimed the YouTuber died after suffering a cardiac arrest. However, the circumstances or cause of Samuel's death are yet to be officially confirmed. Right? What has Kevin Samuel said about women? Samuels has been slammed for making misogynistic comments in the past. He sparked outrage after claiming unmarried women over 35 years old are considered to be leftover women. Kevin Samuels' most recent post on Instagram was a 94-minute clip titled Modern Women Are a Party of One. Well... Is it really considered a party of two if one of those parties met you the night before? No, no, no. But let's go forward. <clears throat> he shared the footage on Wednesday this week. The video is the last clip uploaded to his YouTube page. Rest in paradise, brother. One social media user said that he did not agree with Samuels, but he still honored the YouTuber's life. Somebody by the name of No Context Dr. Umar talking about some. You see it. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's continue going forward. What happened on May 5th? After EMS officials performed CPR on Samuels, he was transported to Piedmont Hospital for evaluation. Both the APD and the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office said they could not confirm or deny any information regarding Samuels' death. Unverified reports shared on social media claimed the star suffered a cardiac arrest, but... These have not been confirmed. According to an incident report by the Atlanta Police Department, first responders responded to a 911 call at Samuel's apartment after he experienced chest pains. A woman who was spending the night with Samuel's, the night nurse, we know her, called 911 after the YouTuber fell on top of her. Damn. There's 3,000 people in here. Go ahead, like the video, thumbs up the video, and leave your comments below. Let me see if I can get some of these comments back up on the screen so that you all can see what the people is saying. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's continue forward. Let's continue forward. I am your host, Tanya TKO. If you don't know me, I am a self-love specialist from tanyatko.com. I use viral topics for lessons about self-love in your own life. And one of the lessons for self-love that I see inside this video, inside of this, is really about being true to yourself. Really, truly being true to yourself. And not lying about who it is that you are, what it is that you like. Life is effing short. It's short. Look at this. Here today, gone tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, let's continue forward. All right. All right. It says, on Thursday, reports about Kevin Samuels started circulating, leaving fans wondering what had happened to him. Later, many news organizations, including American Television Network, Revolt TV, confirmed his passing. Kevin identified himself, you see, identified himself as an image consultant and quote unquote influencer. He had his own YouTube channel with more than 1.4 million subscribers. According to famous wealthy people, Kevin had a net worth of quote unquote allegedly $4 million. He had made his presence felt across different social media sites through his work and boasted more than 80,000 followers on Instagram and over 277 on Facebook. So he and I have our switch because on my Facebook page, I have a million and on YouTube, I have 200,000. 
so ours were switched. Nonetheless, Kevin Samuels' rise to popularity. Kevin Samuels rose to popularity in 2021 following several viral moments capturing segments from his online show in which he would offer dating consultations. In one of his first viral videos, Samuels describes a woman as quote unquote average at best. In another, he challenges a, call, a caller on the size of his manhood, but it was the size of his penis, right? Why does Kevin Samuels continue to have a platform when it's built on the backs of women he hates? Candace McDuffie wrote in an opinion piece for The Root. In the article, McDuffie also called for Samuels to be held accountable just days before his death. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Then it talks about the Atlanta police. When the police got to the scene, uh, blah, blah, blah. Two action news. What is a lifestyle consultant? We don't need to know all of that. What does Kevin Samuels do for a living? Um, okay. It says the self-proclaimed relationship glue guru dishes out lifestyle relationship advice through his YouTube channel, right? Ah. Uh, he is also known as an image and lifestyle consulting advising his followers on how to live their lives. Many of Kevin's videos and ideas have been criticized heavily for being misogynistic, particularly towards women of color. In April 2022, he caused an outrage on social media after he said that women over 35 years old are left over if they're unmarried. His channel with more than 1.42 million subscribers features videos such as modern women are average at best and women should let men use them. Samuels uses his platform to share advice based on lifestyle and the majority of his followers are men between the ages of 18 and 34. Kevin Samuels' mother learned of his death on blah, blah, blah. In April 22, he sparked outrage. He said women over 35 years old are a leftover. If you have made it to 35 and you are unmarried, you are a leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know there is something likely wrong with you, whether you want to hear it or not. I'm telling you the truth and you don't want to hear Men know that there is likely something wrong with you, that you cannot be adjustable. You cannot be an adjustable six or higher, 35 and unmarried. Something is wrong with you. That's where men automatically come. Ah, listen, we know that we just did a video about Kevin Samuels where he was asking, what can, it, what can your daughters, what can your children, how can your children be an asset to the man that you're with? And then he started talking about, if I touched your daughter, she said I touched her, or she said I was looking at her coming out of the shower. Scroll down through my videos. We talked about this. We talked about this in my videos where he was talking about how if 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 his if if a woman has a daughter that says he was staring at her funny coming out of the shower and he was just basically saying that women should be like oh girl please that's your father or whatnot nonetheless let's continue <sighs> a close friend said this family confirmation oh, i'm tired of reading about this i'm tired of reading about it i want to hear what your thoughts are there's a cash app that has come through let me read the cash app right Okay, so TD sends $15 and she says for Yellow Heart, thank you, I appreciate the love. I'm sending you some hearts back. Thank you, T, I appreciate that. Let me scroll through and see, um, check and see if there are any other apples. Inside of the description of the video are some, uh, are is the, the link to send the apples. It's going to be at Tanya TKO. Um, yeah. So I want to see what do you feel are the self-love lessons from this whole entire situation? This whole boondoggle from beginning to end. What is the self-love lesson that you have gleaned from this? Just pretend that you can hear my music playing and let's see your self-love lessons. Remember, put down SLL for self-love lesson so that I can see what your self-love lesson is because this right here is sad. I'm not going to rejoice at anybody's untimely death. This is sad. This is sad to me. JK is saying he got set up. My thoughts are the trash, something, something. The trash has taken himself out. Oh, wow. Yo, some of y'all ain't playing. Let's see. What else? Can we please talk about, it went by too quickly. Can we please talk about what? SLL, you get what? Oh, it's going by so quickly. It's going by so quickly. Let me see if I could read them on the side at least. 
Um, just a shame. My condolences to his family and children. I ain't going to go that far. Listen, it's unfortunate. All I can say is be true to yourself. <clears throat> Self-love lesson. Love yourself and stop worrying about um, <laughs> how did he die on top of me? Self-love lesson. Don't be sad about, let's see if I can get this up on the board. Don't be sad about uh, self-love lesson. Believe what people do, not what they say. Uh-huh. I feel what you're saying. Um, there's no way for me to slow the chat down from the app that I'm in. Self-love lesson. You don't know when your last day on earth will be. So like, uh, treat people how you wish to be treated. Yes. Yes. Didn't something, be honest in who you are, get yourself life insurance, mm. self-love lesson. Oh, they're going by so quickly. Speak life and not death. People need to stop saying he left the legacy. He didn't leave no legacy. He has a, he has a legacy, all right, a legacy of abuse and lies and hypocrisy. That's the legacy. Let's not act like there aren't um, negative legacies that are out there. Keep prayer in your life. Self-love lesson. The story definitely seems fishy. I mean, listen, let's not make a cult classic out of this man. You know, I felt... It, it feels like the relationship between he and I are unresolved. And down south, Lolo's is saying... You bitter too. You're one he talked about. You mad for the truth. If you say so, honey, if you feel that what he was saying was the truth, then by all means, that is your version of the truth. You know what I'm saying? But it's strange how he was living a different truth behind closed doors. Listen, if you hear what I'm saying. Somebody says, you're not nice. And you're not cute either. Well, listen, that is your version of the truth because men know what me see. And I see a face that is beautiful and clear. Isn't this what Kevin Samuels talks about? Being beautiful without makeup on? Isn't this what he used to preach about? Please. And then when people come out and they don't have on makeup, then you want to send me a cure? Me cure. What are you talking? Me cure. What are you talk? Please. You're just mad. You're just mad. Let's see what else we have here. Self-love lesson, practice what you preach. Um, use a high-value doctor. God dang. Not, I know, right? Not Greg Grady. Lord have mercy. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. The cash apps are rolling in. Let me grab, let me grab some of these more apples that are coming in. L sends a dollar and says, the Samuel Letts are in the comments upset, honey. Chow, listen, I hear you. Let me send you a heart back. I hear you. Let's go to the next apple. And then after that, we're going to get out of here because I said everything I needed to say in this video. 3,000 people on the broadcast spread across the different social media platforms. Go ahead and thumbs up. Leave your comments. Send your apple through. If you send it after I'm off air, I'll just read it privately and send you a little message back. Uche sends $2.00. And says, self love lesson. Carmen is a black. Karma is a black woman. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? I'm not even gonna say nothing else. Karma is. Hey, listen. When you, when you, when you disrespect the mother of creation, who knows what will happen? Desi Ray sends two dollars. Thank you to everybody sending the apples through. When I heard of the news, I first thought of was karma. Listen, listen, you know what? The first thing I thought of was unresolution because, mm, mm, mm. all right, Brittany, Brittany sends a dollar and says he was with an obese woman when he died. Irony. Child, I'm not even going to say nothing. L sends another dollar through and says Kevin was about to buy the manosphere. <laughs> That's what he was about to do. And then they set him up so he couldn't buy it. <clears throat> Uche sends $2 through and says he made his platform on demeaning black women. Sad. Thank you. Jeremy. 
Jeremy sends a dollar through and says, girl, you know I work for that hospital. Ooh, so we got some inside tea. Oh my, my, my. So we're going to have to come back out live early tomorrow. So if you all have some extra things that you need to send me, let us get these in pocket. Auntie, A Auntie Adrienne sends $10. She doesn't leave a message though. Thank you, Auntie A. Thank you. I just sent you some hearts back. Ooh, my knockouts. Listen, men don't know what to say. All I can say is, my night nurse mm, mm. only you alone can quench this hit thirst my night nurse hey only me alone can quench this hit thirst. okay i'm not gonna be like that i won't be like that but it is a very famous song it is it is so listen on this note i will leave you all to your own devices Go ahead and send me additional information if there's additional information to send. Go to tanyatko.com, click on contact, and send the additional information. You can send it anonymously if there's some things that you need to send, but you don't, you know, send it anonymously. And I will see you, or hopefully we can make another video tomorrow. So that person who works in the hospital, send me the details that you need to send me. Let me see. I think there's another message here. Um... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? We're going to have to come back out bright and early because there's a person who works at the hospital who wants to be interviewed for the show. You know, so let's see. Let, let's see. Let's see. How long have we been on here? We've been on for 41 minutes. So we're going to come back out tomorrow and we are going to... Um, we're going to finish talking about this because there is, look, Jasmine sends $2 and says, put in the universe what you want back. So that's the self-love lesson. Absolutely. All right. So I will see you all in the next video. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, love yourself. And part of loving yourself is living your truth. If you know that you like cakes, don't tell other people to like pancakes and that cakes don't have no worth when you out there at the bakery with your face smothered beneath big, big buns. I'll just put it that way. I'll just put it that way. I will see you in the next video. Tanya TKO and I'm out. Make sure that you subscribe, you share, like the video, and I will see you all tomorrow when we interview the person who works at the hospital where Kitty took his last breath. Okay, so make sure that you're subscribed. If you're not a part of the text notification squad, make sure you subscribe to the text notification squad. The link is in the description. You get a text each time that I go live. One, some, somebody just told me they were unsubscribed from my channel accidentally. But when you're on the text notification squad, you do not need to have to continue to subscribe to the channel. This is what I'm saying. It doesn't even make a difference if you do subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the text notification squad. It's $1.99 a month or $4.99 if you are international, or you can pay for the year, $22 or $50 for the whole entire year. And you get a text sent directly to your phone with the link. So you can always be able to find the videos no matter where you are. If you're out and about, you get that notification right away, no matter which country you're in and no matter what you're doing, and you always have the direct link. So I will see you in the next video. Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Peace. My night nurse. Mm, mm. Only you alone can quench this hit thirst. I'm going to look up the lyrics to that song. That's Night Nurse by Gregory Isaac. Night Nurse. Let me see. Lyrics. I'm just giving you all a chance to jump out of the video. And then I'll see you all tomorrow. Tell her try her best just to make it quick. Mm. Woman tend to the sick. Oh my gosh, it's all right. Cause there must be something she can do. This heart is broken in two. Tell her it's a case of emergency. There's a patient by the name of Gregory. Night nurse. Only you alone can quench this hit thirst. My night nurse. Oh, the
pain is getting worse. I'll see you all in the next video. Tani TKO, and I'm out. Peace, everybody. Peace. My night nurse. Mm, mm, mm. Only me alone can quench this yet.